Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be uh, kind of a quick video on the steps of, for adding Firebase to your, your Flutter project. Uh, I did a video earlier on the same topic and it's come in handy for pointing people uh, from other videos to, to the setup. And so I wanted to have another one because they did change the syntax significantly and, and introduced a bunch of breaking changes. Uh, with Firebase Core version 0.50 on August 17th, 2020. And the documentation that I prefer, which is on Firebase to Google.com, uh, has still not been updated. So I just wanted to lay down the correct procedures for linking uh, this new Firebase uh, API to your Flutter project. And so you will need a Firebase project, so I'm not going to walk you through creating a new Firebase project. I did that already, firebasegoogle.com, created one, and this is a blank Firebase application. I have also created a new blank uh, Flutter application, and you can do that with Flutter Create. Um, and I'm just going to take it from here and just connect the two. So let's start with Android. So on the main screen here, I have no apps on my Firebase project yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an app to get started. And I'm gonna start by adding an Android application. And I really only need one piece of information to feed into this process. Uh, and that is the package name. Now your package name can be obtained from your Android folder. So you go to Android, App, SRC main, and we're looking for this Android manifest uh, .xml file. If you click on that, it's going to have your package name up here at the top. And what I do just to make sure I don't have any typos there because this is very sensitive, I copy it and I paste it right in here. Now, there is an option to add this, this Android nickname if you want. You can do a SHA certificate here and I think there's instructions on how to do that from here. See this page. Uh, that is for Google sign-in and some other more advanced features, and we're not going to use those today. So I am going to skip those, uh, and I'm going to click Register App. And it's going to take me to this Download Google Services JSON. So I'm going to click that. And at this point, I want to bail on this whole process. So this is walking me through setting this up in a native Android app, which I do not have. I have a Flutter app. And all I was interested in is this Google Services JSON. So I'm going to bail from that. And I am going to click Show in Finder. And I am going to drag this into Android app. So I take that, make sure it's Google services and it doesn't have like a parentheses one affixed to it if you had one already in there. If it does, just get rid of the one and drop it in there like that. All right, so at this point, I do want to go to the documentation and pilfer what's still relevant. Um, so if you're on your Firebase project, there's this link up here, go to docs. And when you do that, it's going to take you to this page right here. And there's a link for getting started with Android. There's a link for getting started with iOS. You can click either one. Because what we're interested in is this fly down over on the side that says add Firebase or use Firebase with a framework. You click the fly down and a flutter is the only option. So I'm going to click on that. And again, these are out of date right now. Uh, but they do have kind of the basic uh, outline of the instructions that you need to do. Um, and there's a chip here for iOS and there's a chip here for Android. So I'm going to start with Android. And at a high level, it's going to say create a Firebase project, register your app with Firebase. We already did that. Then we want to add the configuration file and this, um, and, and then update our project build, our build gradles files. This is mostly still relevant. And so what we want to do is go to the project level build.gradle, which is inside SRC. Nope, sorry, outside SRC, this one right here. So it's the one that starts with the build script up at the top. 
So that's the outermost one uh, in Android. And we want to check and make sure that Google is present in our repositories, which it is. Uh, we also want Google present here in our all projects, which it is. And we are going to need to add this dependency. So I've got uh, Kotlin plugin here. I've got the build Gradle, but I don't have this one here. So let's add this. So we'll stick that. Make this a little wider. Stick that there. And that's all we need to do in the project level build that Gradle. And then we want to go into the app build.gradle. So that is actually inside the app folder build.gradle. And what we want to do is add this line here, the supply plugin. And so we can add this right after apply plugin Kotlin Android. Like that. Now, not in these instructions, but vital to adding Firebase uh, plugins from here on out is going to be the minimum SDK version. It's set at 16. Bump it up to 21. Uh, many of the Firebase plugins, I think Auth is one of them, require 21 or higher. And it isn't immediately obvious from the error that that's the problem. It's very frustrating. It's going to have something about a multi-dex. Um, so just bump that up to 21 and you'll save that headache down the line. All right, then the last step is to add the Flutter Flyer plugins. That's also the, the last step for iOS. So I'm going to actually skip that for now. I'm going to come up here to my chip, and I'm going to skip on over to iOS. And it's going to want me to do some of the basic, uh, basically the same things from Android. Create that Firebase project, which we already did. Register our app with Firebase. So let's go back and do that. So on my main panel, I now have this Android app. I would like to add another app and I want to add an iOS app. And I need to get the iOS bundle ID. And this is something that you're going to want to get from Xcode. And so you have to have a Mac to do this. You have to have a Mac to be doing any kind of uh, iOS development. But if you do, then you can open this project from the main window. So we go to open another project, um, find your project. So we're going to navigate to it. I have a lot of projects. Uh, and this one I called Firebase Add. OK. And once you're inside your project, you're going into the iOS folder, and you're looking specifically for runner.xcodeproj. And you want to open that with Xcode. You want to click on Runner. And on the General tab, which should come up right away at the very top, second field down, is the Bundle Identifier. And we want to do just like we did with Android, is just copy that so we get it 100% correctly paste it in here. And that's all we need to enter for iOS as well. We can click register app and we can download our Google service info.plist and just like Android, we want to bail at this point. Okay, we want to go to our download folder or wherever we downloaded that and we want to drop it into the runner folder. And we want to click Finish. And we want to do this inside of Xcode. It just doesn't seem to work correctly if you do it outside of Xcode. Um, maybe because of that dialogue, I don't know. Uh, but you're much better off to do this in Xcode. And once you've copied that into the Runner folder, you are done with Xcode. You can exit out. All right, so just going back here to my documentation. We added our Firebase configuration file, and that's actually all we needed to do up until our Flutter Fire plugins. So at this point, we can go to pub.dev, and we are required to bring in one, which is Firebase Core. And so we can go there, we can go to installing, and we can grab the latest version. 
and paste that right into pubspec.yaml, put it down below Cupertino icons. All right, and that used to be the end of adding Firebase to your project. Uh, there is now one more step. You have to initialize it. Flutter used to do all that for you in the background. Most platforms you work with Firebase on, you have to manually in initialize it, and you now need to do that in Dart slash Flutter as well. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. The easiest one I have found is to go to lib, go to main or wherever you have your main function here for firing up your app and you want to take that and make that function asynchronous and you want to add two lines of code above you want to add widgets flutter binding ensure initialized and then you want to await firebase initialize app and you will need to import firebase here that's why it didn't auto complete but once you do that the error should go away and that is it so i'm going to fire fire up uh, an emulator i'm going to fire up the app and just look for any, any errors in the debug console at this point All right, there we go. We got it booted up. There's no errors down here in the console, so we're ready to build on those Firebase services from there. So hope you found that helpful, and thanks for watching.